Just a potter in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Okay, in this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to install the Cobb Access Port Manager software onto your Mac OS and also how to update the firmware on your Cobb Access Port and in download maps from Cobb and install those maps onto your Cobb Access Port. Okay, you're going to want to go to the Cobb homepage, click on Support. Click on support there on the bottom. Then you're going to want to go to access port support. Then of course, um, depending on your application, for us it's Subaru access port support. And then from here, you're going to want to click Download Access Port Manager. It'll bring you to the download page. And uh, you can either download it for Windows or for Mac. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to download it for Mac. So click that button. It will bring up a new window where you can download the DMG file. So you're going to want to download the file. And it's a fairly small file, I think only around 30 megs. So once that's downloaded, you're going to want to click on it and open it up. Then you're going to see the box where you have the ability to drag the access port manager to your applications folder. So you're going to want to click on it and drag it over to the applications and it'll open up the folder. Then you're just going to want to place it there into the applications. Then now you're going to want to go to your launch pad and look for the access port manager program, launch it. And if, depending on your settings, you might get this warning that it's a unallowed program. Hit continue. Then you're going to get this little box asking if you want to send anonymous statistics to Cobb. I clicked no. You can. That's up to you. Then from here, you're going to need to connect your Cobb access port to the, your computer using the included micro USB cable. So you see here, here's my little Mac. I'm going to just connect it to the top port there on the Cobb access port. It's going to come up and it's going to do a little song and dance right when it comes up. Then you'll see it say it's connected to the computer. So now you're going to go back into your access port manager software and the first thing you're going to need to do, most likely, unless they're suddenly um, shipping them out updated, is update to the latest firmware. So I just checked the firmware and this 1.7.30 blah 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 was the correct one. I can see here the 2017 manual transmission is the one I needed. So that is the right version. So I'm going to go ahead and click update. And then from here, it's going to start updating your Cobb access port to the latest firmware. You'll notice your Cobb access port will reboot. And then it will display a screen showing, telling you not to unplug it during the firmware update process. So this process kind of takes a long time. I believe it takes at least uh, 
15, 20 minutes. And um, it's probably going to kind of depend on the, the speed of your internet connection. And as soon as that's complete, you will see a message that says your access port is now updated. Click OK. And now it's going to be time to load some maps. I went and took a look and there were no maps currently loaded on the access port. So we're going to have to go into Cobb site and download them. And it looks like it looks for files in a folder called AP Maps that it creates in the user folder on whatever user you're logged in as. So now we're going to go to the Cobb website and do a search for our particular car. In my case, it's a 2017 WRX with a manual transmission, the 2 liter. Make sure you do not select the 2.5 liter because that is the STI and click Find Maps, it will show you all the different maps available for your vehicle. So I wanted to kind of get all the maps that I may possibly use. So we're going to start with the stage zero, which is just the stock stimulation map. So you're going to click Add to Cart. Once you Click that, you can click continue shopping, then go back to maps. And then the next map I was going to get is the anti theft map. And what that does is it loads a map on your car that will prevent it from being started. So you load that anti-theft map on your car, then unplug your access port, take it with you. And unless someone has brought an additional ECU or something that would be required to reprogram the ECU to allow it to start, their car is not going anywhere. So it is pretty, pretty good um, safety map if you're going to park your car for a while or if it's going to be in some area where you're worried it might get stolen. So all this map does is prevent the car from starting. So of course you have to plug it back in and load a real map in order to get the car to, to work again. So we added that to the cart. We're going to go back to maps again. The next map I wanted to get was of course the stage one economy mode. And that economy mode, uh, which I'll probably do some testing with later, it's supposed to uh, limit the boost to the wastegate spring pressure, which I'm not sure that that was, and kind of limit the RPMs and overall make it a more efficient map. So we downloaded that one, or we added that one to the cart rather. And also the valet mode map. Now that's a, a map that just makes the car slow. I think it changes the limiter to somewhere around 4,000. So basically if you're going to give your car to a valet and you don't want them railing on it, it's going to make the car slow and make it where they can't really do anything fun with it. So we added that map to the cart as well. So now we're going to go to maps again, and the next map I wanted to get is going to be the, the normal stage one map. Now this is going to be the map that I'm actually going to run on the car most of the time or all the time. Now there's two different versions of this. There's a 91 octane for you California folks and then a 93 octane for just about everybody else. And in the wastegate, it has normal and high wastegate. I'm not sure what the high wastegate is. Maybe someone in the comments can help me out with that. But I know I don't have it because mine is all stock. So I added that stage 1, 91 octane map because I may be traveling or doing a road trip and I want to make sure I have access to that 91 octane map. So 
So now I'm going to go in and select the stage one map again. And this time I'm going to grab the 93 octane map. And of course, normal wastegate again. And add that to the cart. Now we're going to go to maps again and see if there's anything else we're missing. Those were all the maps that I could think of would be available, but I'm just checking it out and making sure there's nothing else. And that is it. So we're now we're going to go to our cart and proceed to checkout. Now this was a little bit of a loophole. I did not realize that I would need to create an account. So I'm going to go ahead and create an account. You're going to fill in all your information. So after you fill in all your information, click next and click OK on the payment details. Then it will bring you to another page and it will give you the option to uh, place the order. And when you place the order, what it does is it sends you a download link to your email address. So we're going to go ahead and continue and send that in. So now you're going to go to your email. Look for the email from Cobb Access Port. It will have all the maps and just click download on the top one. It will bring you to the web page. And from here, you can actually download all the maps. So you don't need to click individually on them. So you can see here my maps on the right hand side. You're going to click download map on each of those maps. Then you're going to want to go to your download folder, see where you have all the files. And then all the maps should be there, ready to go. So you're going to want to grab all those maps. And remember the AP folder in the user directory on your home folder is where they need to go. So you're going to open that up. So it's going to be AP maps and you're going to want to drag all those maps that you downloaded into that folder. But now you can go back to your access port manager software and then refresh it. And now it will show you all the maps that you have downloaded. On the right shows what's on the computer and on the left shows what's on the access port. Right now there's nothing on the access port so we're going to want to select all the maps that we want to move over, which in my case is all of them, and drag them over to the access port. And these are very small files so they will move over very quickly. So now we have all of our maps downloaded onto the access port. So now all we have to do is take it to the car and set up the access port on the vehicle, which I will be doing in the next video. So look for the next part of this series. Thank you very much for watching.